Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is a funny one. I know I'm on BuzzFeed News. <laughs> Hardly the most reputable of news sources, but it's because they've done the longest article out of this story in question and I want to get... I don't know. Bang for my buck, even though I'm not paying for any of this. Anyway, regardless. Okay, so today's video. The townspeople went inside to shelter. Then the goats arrived. Everybody loves the goats, but they make an awful mess. One resident told BuzzFeed News. That's it. It's revenge of the goats. Mountain goats roam the streets of... Landudno? Landudno? Landudno on Tuesday. The journalists of BuzzFeed News are proud to bring you trustworthy and relevant reports. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, calm down. Were you devastated when you learned that no, in fact, dolphins hadn't turned up in Venice's canals and drunken elephants weren't living it up in a village in China's Yunnan province? Yeah, well, whilst all those feel-good news stories may have been fake, the other day when I had to walk through central London, I saw no less than 20 pigeons all flocked to one area. Might put up a picture up if I can be bothered to get it in this video right now. Took that picture. Proof that the wildlife is in fact returning to London. Praise be to Jeebus. Well, BuzzFeed News is able to confirm that after 200 years of being mostly confined to the limestone bluff, a pack of wild Kashmiri goats seizing an opportunity presented by Britain's national lockdown in response to the coronavirus has taken its rightful place as rulers of Landudno, a seaside town in northwest Wales. With the town now deserted as residents shelter inside, packs of goats have descended on the picturesque resort town, blocking traffic, grazing on people's hedges, lages and about on the church's green and shutting by shuttered shops like you felty thing a local boutique that sells all things wool ooh ooh felty thing you felty thing i don't know i can't speak welsh photos of the goats have gone viral in recent days after andrew stewart a video producer with the manchester evening news of course it was manchester evening news how did i not see this sooner Manchester Evening News are dedicated to bringing only the finest news. Posted a thread about his encounter with the goats on Twitter. Monday, goat update. They're back again and they don't give a fuck. Let's see them. They are so cute. I'm saying about a bunch of blurry pixels. Look at them. They're just ruining people's gardens. They're so cute. I love them. I want to adopt all of them. I love how they're just eating everyone. <laughs> Motherfuckers. They jumped on the fence to get out that little bit of shrubbery. That shrubbery was voted the best town shrub in Northwest Wales. Now it's been eaten by goats. They know exactly what they're doing. Have some lunch from a bush, then go lie down in the churchyard. <laughs> they're so cute. What good boys. And girls. Wait, no, they've got horns. So they're men, right? <laughs> Oh, no, the vegan doesn't know, like, how animal genders work. Let's call them a bunch of fine woolly lads. I, for one, welcome our new goat overlords. Look how cute he is. Look at him. I want to pat his funny little head. He's just so cute. According to local lore, the goats are descendants of a pair that were gifted to Queen Victoria by the Shah of Persia for her coronation in 1837. What a load of bullshit. What a load of bollocks. Why is BuzzFeed reputable, trustworthy? You're just making stuff up. Local historian Eve Parry, however, thinks that the goats were gifted to Queen Victoria may have only been added to a pack that were already there. The plot thickens. We've got to get to the bottom of this. Look how cute they are! Look at, his, look at the size of his horns. What a horny little bugger. Either way, the goats are considered royal, known around these parts as the Windsor Herd. How is this, re how is this a real... What is the UK? The relationship between the goats and the people of Landudno have long been complex, residents told BuzzFeed News. What, are they shagging? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Welsh viewers. I'm sorry. If we were talking about Scottish people right now and I said, oh, what are they shagging? No one would even raise an eyebrow. But because there's always this joke about, like, sheep shaggers and... Look, I'm a part Welsh, so, it, so it's fine. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> is this my first scandal for letting it slip out oh yeah oh, sheep shaggers they're not even sheep though they're goats so and i'm part welsh obviously i think the majority of british people are a little bit of welsh scottish no am i just pass me a shovel so i can dig this hole even deeper 
Oh my god, she's not even fully British. What is what is, what is fully British? <laughs> I've been living a lie this whole time. I'm not a proud Englishman. It's true. Half of my family is Welsh. For fuck's sake. Half my family is Welsh. The other half come from the north. I've been living a lie this whole time, guys. I've been living a lie. I've been in this mood all day, by the way. I was literally almost not quite. Well, I was almost crying about, like, <laughs> a smoothie earlier. So, hmm. I think the isolation's getting to me. Where was I going with any of that? Right, yes. I'm part Welsh. So, I didn't mean to call people sheep shaggers, but they're goats anyway. We're all back on speaking terms and we're all friends again. I'll film an apology video tomorrow. It's a kind of two-pronged thing. <laughs> goats is horns too. No, maybe. Just me? Okay. So we love them. Everybody loves the goats, but they make an awful mess, says Tim Garbutt, who splits his time between Yorkshire and his holiday home in the town. Why am I meant to care about that? They eat all of your nice plants and they shit everywhere, quite frankly. Legends. Legends. There's come. They eat all your shrubbery and they shit all over the lawn. Brilliant. Goats don't have the greatest odour, added Simon Kendall. Added. As in what? You're interviewing these two people like at once. It's added, like is kind of you would assume someone's interjecting. Like, oh, don't remember like don't forget, they also smell bad. I don't believe that these people are real. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Who has spent years defending his property from the Windsor goats. He's just standing on the lawn with like a shield and a sword. They definitely don't use deodorant. <laughs> so funny. I'm sorry, I'm so annoying, it's getting to me. Dear 68 in the big quarantine house. That was awful. What was that? That wasn't even an act that I was trying to do the big brother accident accident act. <laughs> Elise having a breakdown live on stream. We're not even streaming. What am I doing? I'm sorry. Please don't unsubscribe from me. I'm a mess. I'm running out of makeup. Kendall has lived on the Great Orm, the hill where the goats roam for 10 years. Kendall's biggest beef, so to speak. They're goats. They're not made of beef. They ain't cows. Isn't the goat smell, but instead that the animals, like other royals, can be quite discerning. They won't touch daffodils, said Kendall. They're really, really selective. So they're really like bay leaves and they just devour my bay trees. They leave nothing. Good day, sir. They would probably be really nice on the grill, but I wouldn't do that. You heartless man, you bastard. Is that goat pissing on that car? Good, I hope it's that Kendall blokes. How dare you? Sandra Ricketts, a native of Landerno, has been tracking the goat's invasion on her walks to and from her job at the pharmacy in the town centre. Rickards isn't too bothered by the town's new goat overlords. A little bit starstruck, she added. I'm going to try to get a selfie with them tomorrow. Correction. Eve Parry's name was misspelled in an earlier version of this post. See, you can't trust BuzzFeed for shit, mate. Fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. This is the news that we truly should be focusing on. Now, I'm going to go before I have any more tantrums? Meltdowns? Yeah. I'm going to go and think about what I've done. And what I've just subjected you guys to. I know I apologised earlier, but I take it back. I apologise for nothing. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it, which is a lot more recently. Like, blah, 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 blah. What? <laughs> Bye, guys.